Hey guys, welcome back. So if you're new here, my name's Brandon. I am a photographer based out of New York. And today's video is just gonna be a little bit different because we're doing a photo challenge. So I've done a few photo challenges over on my friend Jessica Kobesi's channel. She's the best. So we've done four photographers shoot one model. We did the toy camera challenge. We did a few, so yeah, I'll link those down below. They're super fun to make, so I thought I'd try one out myself. But you know, us as photographers honestly spend way too much money on camera gear. I feel like all my gear combined could buy like a mini house. Like. Kind of sad to think about, but you know, let's just like move on. But I personally love using like little props in my photos to try and you know spice them up. So I thought it'd be fun to head on over to the dollar store and get some super affordable, unconventional maybe um, props to use in our photos and try to get as creative as possible while saving some money. The dollar store has everything. I stand the dollar store. So let's go there right now. So my good friend Taylor, who is actually my neighbor, she lives right there. That's literally her house. Um, she's gonna be helping me out with this video and modeling for me with the props we get from the dollar store. So let's go pick her up. Literally next door. So. <laughs> Hello. Boy, we made it. Maybe this one. Oh wait, this would be perfect. Ooh. <laughs> you break it, you pay for it. Yes, I'm feeling this. Let's get her. We use like a cheese grater. <laughs> oh wait, what about this? Wanna throw her in? Honestly, this dollar store lighting is kind of good. Oh. oh. <laughs> Why is this dope? We're getting it. Like, what is in here? <laughs> I'm like digging these. Yeah. I like the off-white. I like the off-white too. You guys, I found my aisle. Should I get one of these? What even is this? <laughs> it's a salad. Nah. Oh, <gasps> wait, it lights up. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> Wait, these are literally the coolest things I've ever seen. Wait, this is so cool. I like them all, I want them all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we're back with the goods and everything turned out to be like $10 or so. You can honestly spend all day in there. It was kind of dangerous, but when everything's a dollar, it doesn't matter. So let's go over what I got and how I use them in my photos. First up is this colander. Uh, usually for draining pasta, but not today. I used its unique texture against direct sunlight, which created some cool lighting effects, all while in Taylor's laundry room. <laughs> the bright red of the colander was also reflecting onto Taylor's face, which I thought was super cool against the blue walls of the laundry room. Shoulders down a bit. Yeah. Me directing people. Is that right? Oh wait, do that and then look at me. Check me out right here. Next up is this fabric lace doily, which honestly has a really pretty texture to it. For this I use the same technique as the colander, but this time in Taylor's bathroom. I know. Changing it up. Moving on are these wind catchers, which were honestly a really great find. Only for a dollar, I'm literally going to be using these in future shoots, for sure. Using a similar technique as before, I also tried holding these in front of my lens, which created some colorful distortion. Next 
are these two mirrors. You can see my camera set up. <laughs> One a vanity mirror and the other just a simple square. I took these guys to the beach at sunset and even though it was super cloudy, we still were able to play around with reflections and get some pretty unique shots. Here's only a dollar, it's fine. Next are some classic glow sticks, which I've surprisingly never shot with, so I had to give it a try. This time, I set my camera on a tripod and played with some long exposures. The light of the glow sticks weren't enough to light Taylor's face completely while taking just some normal shots, so I ended up using an external light to light her face. Last but not least, the light up ball that Taylor found. I thought this one was especially cool because of how sporadic the light was. It was always giving me some different lighting effects to play with. Hold a little closer to you, Tom. Well, that's it for this photo challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you made it to the end, throw this a like. Appreciate you. But I'll see you guys next time.